No deal on Greece's debt, the uh, upshot of the last-ditch talks between European finance ministers uh, that have just wrapped up in Luxembourg. Well, we're now joined live by Peter Oliver with more details uh, on this story. So no deal then, Peter. What next for Greece do we know? Well, what next for Greece indeed? It does seem that we will see a meeting of the Eurogroup leaders. Uh, this was a meeting of the finance ministers, see a meeting of the leaders on Monday. All of the um, representatives of Greek's creditors have said that they're still willing to negotiate, as has the president of the Eurogroup, Edurin Dijsselbloem. But he did say the ball is very much in Greece's court right now. Right. Um... Uh, as of today, it is still possible to find an agreement and extend the current program before the end of the month. But the ball is clearly in the Greek court to seize that last opportunity. So why wasn't this meeting a success? There had been, well, not high hopes going into it. We heard from finance ministers as they arrived, more of them saying we're not really expecting much movement than those who had high hopes for it. Uh, but we did see Yanis Varoufakis, very much the man of the moment, the Greek finance minister, say that he had proposals to put forward. In fact, he had five pages of them. Um, he read for half an hour, read those out to the, the Eurogroup uh, leaders. Uh, finance uh, Minister, I beg your pardon, and they said no. It very much strikes me as, well, you know, he turned up with last week's homework this week and he was told, well, it was wrong last week, it's wrong this week, go home, do it again and bring it back done right. So we'll be hoping to see and looking to see if Greece can come to the table with proposals that the Eurogroup seem are correct. Otherwise, well, it goes on to that plan B, deal or default. Pete, thank you very much. RC's Peter Oliver reporting there. Well, in further talks, uh, if further talks also fail to reach an agreement, there are several possible scenarios for Athens. Now, the first is simply to default. Uh, that's if it can't find the cash by the next deadline. Or, in order to stay afloat, the Greek government could adopt a new currency, perhaps uh, returning to the old drachma, which, of course, will mean abandoning the euro. And for the first time, the Greek central bank has come clean, saying that it's considering another option, and that is to say goodbye to the EU. Meanwhile, the Greek Prime Minister is visiting Russia to attend the Economic Forum in St. Petersburg, where he's scheduled to meet with President Vladimir Putin. It'll be their second meeting in just over two months, and the battered Greek economy is expected to be high on the agenda. Well, let's get more reaction now from George Katrigalos, the uh, Greek Minister of Administrative Reforms, who joins us live. Thank you very much for your time and joining us here on RT International. So after hours of talks then... Thank you for the invitation. Still no agreement between Greece and its creditors. The Eurogroup says it's inviting the country for more dialogue. Is that going to be effective? Is there any point in more talks? Well, we are ready to negotiate. Uh, it is us who have made all the concessions till now. Now it is the time uh, our partners to make also some steps towards uh, a viable uh, compromise. Because uh, we want an agreement, but uh, a fair agreement. A fair agreement means that we don't want further austerity and we, do not, we don't want all the burden to lay again to the weakest, to the poorest. We want measures with uh, some kind of social justice because that's why you have been elected by the Greek people. Um, if you've made all these concessions, why are your creditors asking you to come up with a more realistic plan of action? Well, you know, it is not a, a problem uh, uh, just of Greece. Greece is not an isolated case. Greece just represents a more general friction, opposition between two different visions of Europe. A Europe of austerity and a Europe uh, uh, looking back to its old social model. We do not want to continue this road of austerity because it's a, a spiral of death, recession, new austerity measures, new uh, unemployment, again, new measures. We have seen that the last five years does not work. We want to change it. We are ready to negotiate with our partners, but not continuing a road that clearly uh, leads uh, to nothing good for the Greek people. Uh, as we just mentioned, Prime Minister Tsipras is heading uh, to St. Petersburg. I believe he's probably there already to meet uh, President Vladimir Putin on Friday. What message is that sending to the international community, if any? Well, uh, this uh, uh, meeting with uh, President Putin has been scheduled long ago, so it is not a kind of counter move uh, to the negotiations we have with our partners, exactly as 
our good relations uh, with Russia is not an alternative to our participation uh, to the European Union. We want to have good relations uh, with uh, Russia, not just commercial ones. We have traditional bonds of friendship and we want to work further on this. Um, if there is a Brexit, uh, do you think that could set a precedent for the, uh, for the rest of Europe? Nobody wants a Brexit, exactly because uh, a failure to reach uh, a viable agreement, a, vi a viable compromise, would destabilize the Eurozone. That's why you see even the Americans are interested in the progress of our negotiation. That's why I am still optimist, optimistic about uh, the final possibility of uh, a fair agreement. But as I said before, now it is uh, to our partners to make the necessary steps to a viable compromise. You say you don't want a Grexit, um, but if this is just a game of brinksmanship, both sides are taking it pretty close to the wire, aren't they? Is there a, is there a danger that this could, could happen? Well, uh, there is always a danger of accident, and uh, till now, uh, I must say, uh, regrettably, that our partners have used the factor of time and uh, of uh, uh, the lack of liquidity to our economy as leverage in their side in order, in order to push us during the negotiations. But uh, we have clearly shown that we do not want to blackmail anybody, but on the other hand, we are not ready to be, black to be blackmailed by anybody else. So I hope that now that really the time is ending, both sides are going to be responsible, especially our partners, which, who are all, also our lenders, are going to show uh, a much better, let's say, uh, goodwill in the negotiations.